tire overload or under inflation. Overloading and under inflating a tire both have the effect of over deflecting it. Under these conditions the tread on the tire will wear rapidly and unevenly, particularly in the shoulder area. Radial cracking in the upper sidewall area will be a problem. With underinflated bias drive tires in high torque applications, sidewall buckles will develop leading to carcass breaks in the sidewall. While an underinflated drive tire may pull better in some soil conditions, this is not generally true and not worth the high risk of tire damage incurred. Tire overinflation. Overinflation results in an under deflected tire carcass. The tread is more rounded and wear is concentrated at the center. Traction is reduced in high torque service because both width and length of the ground contact area are reduced. The harder carcass with reduced flexing characteristics does not work as efficiently. Moreover, the tightly stretched overinflated carcass is more subject to weather checking and impact brakes. Singles, duals, triples duals or triples can give you increased traction or increased flotation over single tires depending on how you set them up if you want traction add weight to your tractor up to the published load capacity for the tire using the appropriate row single dual or triple from the tables in the load and inflation section Inflation pressure must be increased to match the load using the same table. Be careful not to exceed the manufacturer's maximum load rating for the axle. If you want flotation from your duals or triples, run your tractor at the manufacturer's minimum weight and HP ballasting recommendations and decrease inflation pressure to match the lighter load according to the load and inflation tables. Compared to single tires, duals and triples can allow you to both increase traction, more weight, and improve flotation, lower inflation pressure, if only moderate increases in ballasting are made. However, remember that duals and triples increase your tractor's rolling resistance and decrease traction efficiency. Liquid and air fill with duals. A few years ago the recommendation was to put liquid only in the inner tire but new information has changed the guidelines. All tires on an axle should be filled to the same level which should not exceed 40%, for a clock valve stem position. Likewise, all tires on a given axle should be inflated to the same pressure.